Huh? You must wait a long time. There you go. It is way too long because you're still close into him and he's going to run over you. You have the same issue that Nancy does. So you got a long inseam with a short inseam. So knowing where his footprint is, you just want to make sure that your body is in line to attack the footprint. Here. And make the feet go away from each other, not down the line that you're walking. Just make the feet go sideways. Left. Left foot. Yeah. Now you're stopping his step. You're you're making. He's stepping to here, but then when you make your entry, you're closing the distance, so he's only stepping here instead of here. So you've got to make sure you're far, far enough out that he takes a normal step. Make sure he puts his foot in his footprint. Nick won't let me use markers on the mat cover. Now see where his foot is? There you go. Put my foot, my foot's gonna land on that line. So your left foot's gonna come back here. Oh, okay. There. Now, turn your knee more so you can get your heel behind you. You can actually rotate that and lead with your heel and get deeper. Just by turning your knee in just a little bit. And that's how you compensate for being too close. Because you can turn that knee and rotate and he'll walk right into that. Uh-huh. See there? <laughs> and you're in a strong driving position because this foot's back here. Where you're just driving there instead of trying to go this direction and crossing your feet. I'm just going to turn my heel and catch him on the step, moving at the same speed. Step, catch. Now, let his foot slide to infinity in the direction it's moving. So we're moving here. I'm going to catch his foot, keep stepping forward, and it's just going to go to infinity as he steps onto it. And he'll just slide to the floor. It's all timing. Last night, last night, at transition. Yeah, he catches it and drives it forward. I drive mine. The one hand thing, when you did it before, you did it one hand. Just as my foot was going to land, you did thing. Yeah. Use this hand to turn your body. Don't move him. Just move your body with that hand. Watch the difference. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. That's effortless. Uh -huh. And it doesn't matter what happens, how it ends up. Yeah. But you always want to use your hand to move you. And that creates the Kazushi in his body because we're in motion. The architecture makes everything happen. You're doing great on the. He's that one. You can't make a big arc. Right. He's been pulling me with his hands the whole time. Now he's trying to pull me using him. Okay. Don't think about pulling him with the hand. Okay. Okay. Pull him with this muscle right here. Okay. So when you're holding here, instead of doing this, mm -hmm. do that. He verbalizes it much better. <laughs> so, okay. Your arm is just a rope. And then at that point, see if you're pulling here, and you're pulling on this line, you can't move yourself into here because you run right. into your hand. But if I pull from here, I can pull from here and let go and come through. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> and just turn. Because you're not committed to a pull. You're just... Eh. Hi, everybody. Whoa, ceasefire, quit, stop. Uh huh. Now, remember on the Ipon, Uke takes a big way. He takes a long way. He takes the loop around. You're going to cut through the middle of downtown. Okay? So as Uke steps, makes the big turn, you take the little turn. And when you do that, See him whip? Now I hardly move. If I take a big circle, he's going to go, he's fishing for something. <laughs> okay? So it's literally not more than just that. And the pull is, is here and in your, your back. It's not, come here. Because if I pull here and I try to turn, I run into my hand. And all the muscles that are pulling him, because they're going this way, and then I try to go this way, and you stop. Ever find that doing in throws? Mm -hmm. I see people do that, they run into their hands. Mm -hmm. But if I pull from the middle of my shoulder blade, I can let go. I just want to get that foot moving and help it and turn. And it's just, move your butt. That's all you got to do. Boom. That Tayo Gary did the other night. He would pop here, go to the inside sleeve. Kawoom! I missed right there. That wasn't even very good. I feel old tonight. The Ochi. It's a matter of knowing where the footprint's going to be and getting my body stabilized to find the foot. Now that time I was fishing for his leg. Little guys can come into Ochi, and I love this Ochi by coming straight in. Because you can lift your leg and hook and drive. Okay, if you've got someone with a tall end seam, you can come straight in and hook and drive. I don't have that. But I can get under little people by turning my knee. You want to rotate your hip and turn that heel out and it'll pick that heel every time. Smallest inseam in here. We're moving along. I rotate and catch. I hardly have to move. But that motion. That was a 70s dance. Part of the twist. That's part of the twist. If you can twist the old John Travolta thing in uh, Pulp Fiction. Okay, they're up there. Saturday Night Fever. No, Pulp Fiction. You know, you turn that hip. And that heel just slips right through. And a lot of times you do that on guys with bigger end seams and you get in really deep, which isn't bad. Okay, but now he's running me over. I just have to continue. That's when I want to lift that foot and drop his center behind me. If I scoop him, Okay, there's ways to scoop him. I can pick him up and drop him, okay, which I would do when I was younger, but now I'm a little smarter. If I get to here, I'm going to tuck and drop him under me. I want to pull him through my legs. See? So as I do the Auchi and come in here, I'm going to lift and drop him down. 
instead of dragging him out or dropping him, his shoulders backwards. Oh, it's getting so deep in here. But if I get the chance, I'm not going to close that distance. I'm just going to catch him out there. Boom. And make the feet go away from each other, not straight back. <laughs> so, is that movement making sense? Mm -hmm. So now, put two hands on them and try to keep this in mind. If I'm going to turn this way for the seoi, this hand's going to come up, but I'm not pulling it. I'm moving him with my body. See how my hand's not moving? He's just following. Good dancer, dude. Thanks. I've seen you on the floor. It's terrible. <laughs> this is true. This hand tucks. So I just... And if I go the other direction, it's here. Now, do they dance that well? No. But is the movement correct? At the right time. So we're moving here. Did you see it? Okay, good. Now, look at my position for my upon. Good, bad, ugly. Which way am I going to move? Where's my hips? My hips are over here on this side of his body. See where his body is? So I've got to step across and I'm going to drive him down the line. Why? Which way is he moving? Around. So if we're here, I went straight down the line, ran into his arm, and did the capture. And he finished the wrap. And as soon as he touches the bottom, you throw. As soon as you know he's going to bump you, that was ugly. And it still works. I'm standing on his feet. <laughs> Too big a circle. It takes a little tiny circle to do that. Okay? Play with that. You okay? Huh? <laughs> Carefully you show them. Y'all have never seen that before, I know. <laughs> there it is. Now just when you feel him wrap, just bump him with your butt. I can't throw him. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, he's, he's, I understand. If he falls, don't. he can't fall. Then make sure you get a, a, a time throwing a couple of times. Okay. All right? It was somebody else. Because right. Mike's over there just standing around. Oh. Did you see what you did? Oh, I'm going to throw you forward. Turn, don't speed up. Turn, step inside. Up. Go straight across and just capture it right in front of your face. And then turn. He'll, he'll continue wrapping. Walk straight into his arm. There. Now a little bit more form. As we're moving, Feel that bump? Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom. Mm. John's going. Mm. Okay. But you have to move and you have to work the timing on the movement and you have to get it fixated. Who's the Borg? Remember the Borg? You have to assimilate it into you. 
So you have to assimilate your uke, your partner, into you so that you become one for the throw to happen. The relationship of the throw, the structure, assimilates you two together. All right? On John, he's as tall as Damon. We're moving here. I get to move. I get to move. I get to drop. Okay? Mike. If I do that same thing, he owns me. All right? Because I broke my posture. But if I just move... And I put a sweep in on the little guy. Because I can't get my hip down and get that position. But that little sweep thing yeah, just knocks sweet. your, <laughs> makes your beard shake. <laughs> okay? Comb that out now. Now, Nancy is working with poor little old me. She's having a hard time because she literally has to wait. If she pulls me now and goes in a circle, no, just walk over there. I get to go here. Okay? That's so familiar. <laughs> All right. Now, as soon as my foot starts to move, you cut the line across. Pull me around and move. Bam! I was 180 degrees off. I was catching you on the end of the tail instead of the beginning of the tail. Does that feel different? Yep. Okay. Come here, Damon, Damon. Now, when his foot's, his foot's on the back stroke, and, it's, and when you step to bring him around that corner, you just cut straight through, hip in, and just slam him on the ground. Now, go in and as, as soon as you capture, booty bump. Capture bump. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> so easy. Wow, you're sure a little bit of violence. Hey, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Okay. But it's hard to comprehend the two circles, the outside and the inside circle. And you're making an inside circle, but you're doing it by walking in a straight line. You just cut cut their their circle cut through the radius and they wrap. Bam! And the booty bump is absolutely amazing. Okay? And on on here, when I make this motion, if I booty bump right into her chest, that knocks her whole body backwards. But if I booty bump with half a cheek, so it's literally, it's not the sweep, it's, it's the hip. Can you feel the hip hitting you? It's the hip that throws you. It's the flex on the hip. Oh, why does this have to be so hard? All right? And if Nancy pulls me around the corner this way, and she wants to catch up with me, she has to move twice as fast. See, she's behind me. And most of the time, we teach Seoinagi to just come in. See? So if we catch it off of this step, you're having to catch up with this foot. And you're usually late or in the wrong place. But if you catch it off of this step and just cut it off, woohoo! Those feet get light and will pop up. And if you just stand straight and poof, pop, my feet will just literally pop off the ground. And as, as soon as I lose friction with the earth, you own it. Posture. So important. Okay? Gracias, señorita. Señora. Señora. Um, another one. What's another throw? Kochigari. Kochigari. Okay? Again, still working off the same principle with the rope. Tension compression. Understanding where the feet are touching the ground. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Greg loves this. Yes, I know. Kochi. Is he walking in a straight line? No, he's going over here and over here and over here. 
So the Kochi line is where? Out there, the direction his middle toe's pointing. So if I'm going to catch him on the move, going this way, I touch his footprint. And it's just that simple. If I touch him early, he stands up. Then I got to do this. I got to push my little fingers back behind his bottom. If we're moving backwards, then I capture and hold. If he's coming forward though, make the feet go away from each other. And if you just do it here, you get two hands, I get one. Notice I step to the line and I'm moving at the same speed so he can't feel my hands and I'm not pulling. And the foot, just step out and stop. Boop. Now if he's got his weight flat on that foot and now his weight's on that foot, because his foot's flat, if I go sideways, it won't move. That won't move. But if I pull the direction his toes are going, it'll come right out from under him. If he's really big and heavy, step out, get your weight over it. I'm going to come into here, and I'm not just going to pull. I'm going to step up and push my center into him. Oh. <laughs> Foot slid. I'm getting old. Here. 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 Boom. Drive off that foot and it gives you a lifting action at the same time. And I'll do that on every Koji, by the way. I drive off of that foot. So it's a good idea to get in the habit of using power. Power comes from there. It's not growing muscles. Oh. <laughs> okay? Play with that for a few minutes. Don't go any harder than this. Okay? It's, it's, I mean, you have to be so relaxed and be nothing but the wind and just... Okay? This is the, he goes to pull and you go... Throw. Okay, that, that center comes forward and if you wait till the foot touches the sand, you just go, you just have to be in the right place. Now timing is about being in the right place in the right time because this is dynamic, this is on the move. We're constantly going on and off balance. The kazushi's there, especially in the foot sweeps got to catch it. Capture was a term I heard a lot. But don't block. And don't lock. Float. Another one. Not that left-sided <coughs> uh, title that Gary showed today. The guy showed him in which you would... Oh, on the back step, yeah. Papa, Papa, Papa Dulcus. Works for me. Yeah. If I'm here, he did that on a back step. Boom. Okay, I could set my weight to that back foot. Was he he left grip? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here. On that step. What shape are heels? Round. Round. So if I drop his weight onto his foot, it goes right onto that heel. Okay. 
So you know Uke is fixing to take a, a step back. And it's a matter of just putting your energy straight through that shoulder and right down through that heel here. Now it's a, simply a matter. Can anybody throw a baseball sidearm? Okay. Elbow comes in and the hand comes out. So the further away from your body your elbow is, the less power you have and the more pressure goes to the shoulder on this. So what happens is, we drive to here, boom, I'm going to walk through my elbow. See how I walk and push with my body? I didn't extend my hand. Gary's a big outside person because he's little and can crawl up under people. Okay? I don't do that. I'm going to come through and drive here and continue his upper body going over that heel. Here, set, push. I'm not pushing my hand through his head. I'm just driving my body through my elbow. And then it's just a matter of touching and continuing that motion. And I'm not throwing forward. Right there. Hmm. Now, Damon wants to block it. As I drive in, that's fine. Then it's going to rotate forward. But Taiyotoshi is a what hand throw. So it's here. Boom. And by using that sidearm motion, if I connect here, if I drive, then I turn my body. My body is driving the hand. I'm not turning and then throwing him with my hand. You don't want to do that out here. It'll kill you. <coughs> Boom. Just let it go. This foot stays, I come through and drive. Now for old guys, there's absolutely nothing wrong with driving here and It's ugly, but I don't want to step across. I don't reach that far anymore, especially If I drive here, now he wants to drive back. <laughs> I do that better right side. This is just Hayatoshi on a back step. Here. Works on both sides. And you could probably get away with Drive, he pushes, and goes through the other side. See how that works? Because he doesn't want me coming across here, so he's going to come right back into me. Just use like a Sode Tsuri and come across with Tayo on the other side. That would almost be my preference. So now, changing directions is a critical understanding. of when to make a throw. Who drives that change of direction? Him. When you're moving, are you paying attention to what his timing is when he changes directions? Because it'll be within a same foot pattern. Everybody steps in the same pattern. Right now I'm leading it. 
So, but if I'm not threatening him, he doesn't mind moving there. Now, if he's leading me, there are times. <clears throat> <laughs> He's trying not to. <laughs> well, I think my feet bomb. <laughs> See? And that again becomes another game. You know, at what point can I make, can I capture that off of his movement? Like, at what point can I capture that off of that movement? At what point can I capture that off of that movement? See, that's where your throws start coming together. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a matter of understanding the relationships of where your feet are and his feet. So you may have the right position, but in that case, my body, when he took that step back, I was over here, so there's no way I could get to here and step across. So I just didn't try. But at some point, you'll be out here. And it's not uncommon to come across to a double lapel here and drive through. It's just that guys like Papalos, Papados, he's going to be here and take you down. And that's all done. Hip to movement. Like we're trying to do this, and all of a sudden you catch him going, and boom. Okay? So try to throw a little bit and then play the game. See if you can create the backstep relationship. Then see if you can create the backstep relationship with the entry. Okay? That's the hard thing. What did I say to do? Can I do it now? No. Can I do it now? No. When do I get to do it? I don't know. When you take that step. Okay. When you step back onto the foot. Or we're moving here. You change directions. Okay. On the back step. Okay. You have to anticipate okay. the back step. Okay. And know when it's going to happen. All right? Have fun.